Hi there, Dave Rawlings here. And I have been working with this new book from Jan Schaefer and Rainier van Njord. Um, it's produced by Fallen Rook Publishing, who you may recall produced the Book of Lessons by Rob Rankers, and a very, very similar production value to the Book of Lessons, I have to say. It's very, very nicely made. It's a different feel, and what I mean by this is that the Book of Lessons, really partly because of the relation to the, um, to the illustrations, really leaps off at you as a manner of, I want to train this because it's fun. This is a lot more in depth. This is predominantly text-based. There are some illustrations at the end, and they're produced very, very nicely. Um, I kind of feel with these, and I understand it's, it's a very, very difficult thing to do, and it's, it's more cost. I kind of feel with these things it's always helpful to have a separate little booklet with the illustrations in, but I understand that's an awful lot of cost. But the illustrations are nice, they're not as joyous, but there you go, they're still accurate and they still represent what's in the text. The text is the really big beast in this. It is incredibly, incredibly in-depth and encyclopedic in very many ways. It's, it's got an awful lot of detail. And as such, it's quite a hard read in comparison to something like the Book of Lessons. This should not discourage you from buying this. Purely on the matter of advancing into measure, and the definitions of long and short measure in this are incredibly, they're absolutely bloody anal. They're really, really pernickety. Lots and lots of different examples given of each type of measure. A really, really in-depth understanding of each technique and why you should do it. Um, I think this is a very, very good thing for people to read who like silver as well, because it will really murder some of those feelings you have of silver being unique. It's not exact in silver, but it's descriptions of some points, i.e. trying to get yourself into measure underneath the cover, your description of being able to most efficiently um, fence by putting in just simply with your body, and the description of times is wonderful. They're not always used in the same way as silver, but there's an interesting overlap which people should be aware of. So this is a lot harder read than the Book of Lessons. It does not mean you shouldn't buy it. It's fantastic. We have been doing a lot of work in what I term the vulgar class, um, which is one of my classes I run a, on a Monday night. And we've been an all, doing an awful lot of work on simply entering into measure and understanding the long measure and the short measure and working entirely from this to do so. And it's an incredibly valuable companion just for that alone. So I really recommend this book. You, if you've got the book of lessons, it's not the same feel. It's a different feel. It's a much more intense, much more focused read. It's a really academic read. And this does not mean the Book of Lessons is not academic. It's a fantastic book. But the presentation is different. This is very, very word, word upon word upon word, a different mental picture of what's going on, rather than the focus being on the pictures in places. So very much a different read, still a fantastic read, and I'm really enjoying working with it. I've held off doing a review for quite some time because of the depth of the material in this, but please do give it a go. It's a very good book. Thanks again, Keith. Thanks, Yan. Thanks, Rania. Take care. Bye-bye.